Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Teresa and welcome to Sew It Tuesday. Today we are going to sew and decorate belly bands. So a lot of just using a bunch of scraps up that I have that has came from four different paper pads. Um, this one, which as you can see, <laughs> see if I'll focus, I have used a lot of. <laughs> so um, this one is actually from Michaels. Um, and this one I got from Joann's and I just love it. They're four pages, all different. It's just the, the here we go, four, you're too far, but um, there we go. Here are some of the pages. There's um, a lot of them that are the same and there's double sided. So there's like four pages of each design almost but it's just it's gorgeous so um this one came from it's a prima pad and it came from joann's um this one i believe came from joann's i think the rest of these came from joann's um family heirloom and it has some just gorgeous paper in here so this was, um, some of the papers came from this. They're, um, yeah, they're all different. <laughs> and this one is the Dear Jane stack. And it is a, um, has all this beautiful papers and writing and from Jane Austen's books. Um, so the... A lot of some of the papers came from this stack. Um, so let's get started. Um, these are going in my um, current junk journaling creating for a friend. And hopefully this should be yep, let's tear it down to eight all right so we're gonna do have this and have a little bit of I thought I had some book page oh I did have this um, some music sheet <laughs> So I wanted to add a little bit of book page. This is a dictionary page, it looks like. So I really just, I love just randomly putting whatever, wherever. And then, so I have um, this Berry Art glue. Um, I really like this. I do have the art glitter glue, but I, I like this a little better than the art glitter glue. It dries, it takes a little longer to dry, but, um, and it doesn't really touch the fabric very well, but um, I don't get as much wrinkles with it. And so I really do really enjoy it. And I'm going to use this to where I'm, I'm adding my glue because I don't want it to get leaked out on here. This is just a piece of um, decorative scrap of paper that's laminated. The reason why I use wet glue instead of the other is you don't want to have, and I've, I've said this before, but you really don't want to have like, um, like that. We're going to add that right to it. That will be really pretty with the zigzag. Okay, one done, and then we'll decorate it in a minute after we sew it. Um, you don't want 
um, tape um, that won't dry on, in and sewing on your sewing machine or else you can totally ruin your sewing machine. And that's the last thing anyone would want to do. So I'm going to take this one and we're just tearing the edges of these just because I like that edge to tear. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. It really just depends. And I'm taking it down on my mat to see how long for the rip. And I normally do these around eight. Um, I like to pre-make some so they are, you know, I can use them later. I don't think we'll get to decorating all of these, but we'll try to decorate a few. So, yeah, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is a um, pictures of doilies I took. <laughs> I just turned it into paper. Um, made a digital out of it. Trying to see what all I have. I have no idea what all the paper I have over here is. Oh look, this would be fun to add on to that. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. Getting some crafting in. Um, it's always fun to craft. Lots of sanity release when I craft. So I think I'm gonna leave this here. I'll probably add little bits of um, ribbon to it. Oh, I need to glue it down, duh. It's been one of those days. <laughs> I've been cleaning, so my day kind of goes a little crazy when I do that. All right, and we're going to put this on top. And I'm not putting a whole lot because I am going to be sewing these down. Um, and I think I'm going to add a little glue right there. All right. Okay, and I think we're going to get one more made, and let's use this pretty one for, you know, I like this, let's use this. So I'm going to just grab my tear ruler to get a different edge, wrong tear ruler. Um, so I bought these tear rulers off of Amazon, and they come with three different sizes. I've never used this because I think it's weird. Like, I wouldn't even know how to, but this is the one that I most commonly use and a lot of people use that. I like using this one to get a different kind of edge. <laughs> um, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna takes a little bit more effort for me to tear it, but I really like that edge. I think it makes a really cute decorative edge for um, doing your belly bands. So we're going to do, yeah, I think that works for size. Okay. So here's what we're going to do for the belly band. Let me see what sizing it is. Yeah, it's good. I'll cut it down when we get there. Um, I've had this and I thought this would be fun to add on to there. So let's add this on. Um, I don't even know how I ripped this or what. <laughs> it was happened. 
to be there. Okay. And you know what? Let's rip some of this. This would be fun on there. I'm going to rip it down all the way so we can add a little bit through there. Yeah, let's put it like right in here. This little side I think needs to be ripped some. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I find it a lot harder to rip little pieces than a bigger piece. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. But it's it works. Grab all this and put it in my recycle bucket. Alright, so I think we're going to... Put it right there. That works. I think some music. Yeah, I think our next one, I'll do four of them. Three, yeah, four of them. And we'll get some music sheet on that. So here's this one. And I will be adding some other stuff on here when we are sewing it. So, I want to add some music sheet. Let's use this. I think this might be a smaller of the same. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to use this normal and rip it. And let's see. You know what? Let's make this a double belly band. That would be fun. So, this bottom one, this top one is going to be the one I'm going to sew. And we're going to put some, decorate. So I'm going to get I'm going to use this one and do it a little bit thicker and make a double belly band. I really like double belly bands. Okay, so I'm just going to tear this down because this is way too long. So again, I'm just measuring. It's out of your guys' view. Sorry. Um, so I think we're gonna, yeah, let's go right about there. And we're going to tear very slim of this. Hopefully it'll work because I never do really good when I do little pieces. Great, that does work. Okay, so this is going to be our double one. So I'm going to rip, rip this about right here. And rip this right about up here. Okay, so this is going to be, so I'm going to set this aside because we really don't need this until we decorate and glue. And I'm just going to add... Some sheet music. I love sheet music. Now this sheet music is something I've had in my stash. It came from a book that I have had for who knows how long. <laughs> like a long time. So we're going to glue this down and then um, yeah that'll work. Um, I'm going to glue this down and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and I will um, set you guys up that way. So I will be right back. All right.
right, so I'm trying a new angle, so let me know if it works. Um, so we're going to start with this one, and um, I want to do a zigzag on it. So I'm going to turn, do my zigzag, and I want it a little wider, and the zigzag a little wider, um, which every sewing machine's different, so I don't know what, um, so on this one, we're just going to do a simple zigzag, and that's just going to secure everything and secure this. Um, so, there we go. Okay, I need to make sure that gets in there. Okay, let me reach and get my. So, yeah, I like that. That holds it pretty good. You can see on the bottom, back, how wide, but you're not going to be able to see any of that. So, yeah. What you want is for it to hold whatever you're sewing on there. So, I like that. That works. So, this one, I wanted to add different lace. So, I'm, let's see, let me grab my chart and see, yep, this side, which one I want. So I have my straight stitch, my zigzag. You know what, this one might be fun, it reminds me of chicken feet though. I see we try this one. I like this one. So that's a number four on my machine. And if you're wondering about this chart, I do have my first um, Sew It Tuesday. Um, I did this in a video. So I will try to remember to link it down below for you. Okay, so... Oh, four. Now, was it oh, four? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to do this little piece with that one, and then I want to add other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to put my foot down and on the side of me I have a bunch of um, different kinds of lace. So I think this would be fun as some. So let's cut a little bit of this off. And the lace I have, <laughs> I stole it from my mom. That's where I get all my laces from my mama. Um, and I think I'm just going to move this down and same stitch and just go the rest of the way down. Okay, now I want to make sure I get that under. I'm going to run it right off. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, so this one, I think I want to, um, I don't know if this will work. We're going to try. I'm going to see if I can stitch right over. It's awfully thick, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to clear my machine and do a straight stitch and you want it long 
um, that way it does not rip your paper. If you're having issues with your paper ripping or it looking weird on the back, um, a lot of times it's your stitch. It needs to be longer. So I'm going to try and get this under and see. Okay, now I'm going to back stitch it just to secure this under. Okay, I think that's going to be cute. Now here's another piece of ribbon, like, not ribbon, sorry, lace that I think we'll use. And let's see. Let's try it with this one. And um, it is 53 on mine. So mode's on 53. And we're going to do that the rest of the way. put that down because I want to make sure this gets right up butt to that or else it's just going to wind up crumpling and you don't want that. And these specialty stitches have a tendency to take longer. Probably should have spread it out more. Hopefully I don't have an issue with it ripping. But wow, that got that on there good. And then just a little bit. But look at that back. So what I'll probably do with this is put a little glue just to help it because that is awfully close. And I don't want it ripping. But then again, it's also, you know, it's a belly band. So I don't think we'll have too much of an issue. So, with this one, I think I'm just going to cut a little bit more of this and put it right in the center, like this. And I think I'm just going to do a zigzag on here. And I'm going to widen it a tad because I want to and put it a little bit closer. The zigzag portion. And then let's push that down and let's go. That's going to be really cute. Okay. So now. I'm going to switch again and put you guys back up on my other one so we can finish these off. Okay, so I'm not going to decorate all of these because I don't really want the time to go that, you know, I don't like my videos that long. So, but I do have some bling. We don't really need that, but, and some old stamps and I'm gonna do this one to show you guys how I do my double belly bands and um, you know, let's decorate this one and the other ones will do another I will do off camera so um, for those who might not have been able to see I don't think I showed it very well so this was my stitch sample that I was referring to um, basically uh, these are all the different numbers for the stitches I have and what they look like on paper um, I do the same thing with fabric so um, again I'll link the video down below for that I reference that quite a bit okay so let's start with this one and I think I'm thinking I might want to add some of this to it. That might be fun. 
hopefully I normally sew these on so let's hope that it will glue on so I'm gonna grab my art glitter glue no I'm gonna grab my Fabri-Tac Fabri-Fix um, I got this off of at Hobby Lobby I think and the bottle came from Hobby Lobby so I think I'm just gonna yeah I think I want to put it right here so we're just gonna put a little bit This stuff is so thick. Um, okay. Let me keep that upside down. So it'll be easier next time. And I'm just going to put that right on there. Um, if you're interested on how I made these, let me know and I can show you guys. They're really easy. Um, I'm still trying to play with it though, so it might be a couple weeks before I um, do it, but I can do it for a Sewing Tuesday project. All right. So I think I want a flower. There's no glue in there. <laughs> Here, let's pull out the flowers we have made. Um, you know, this one might work really cute. So if we open that and make sure all the fuzz is around there. There we go. That might look really cute. And then like a number. I have numbers right here. We probably want a little bigger number. And I could totally stick out some. So let's add the number. Alright. Get my thing to glue on. Okay, we're going to put some glue on this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take this and I just want this a little bit more raggedy. So I'm just going to go over that a little and see how the fibers are coming off. And that's just going to make it a little bit more frayed. There we go. So I think a butterfly would look really pretty up there and I had one I got over here. Guess not. Oh. I need to get my ephemera holder and there are butterflies in here. <laughs> Birds, that would be fun. Here we go. Let's see. Um, I wonder if I could find one with some. Oh, look here. That will work. Okay. So I'm going to just get this. A little darker there we 
Here we go. And I think some bling up here maybe. No, that doesn't look great. Oh, here we go. That looks good. Let's use that bling. And then... Oh, this is a little overkill, <laughs> I feel like. Let's use that for something else. <sighs> Definitely not one for where's my normal scissors? Oh well, that's already on. Too late. Okay, there's one. And fun. Love the flower. That looks really good on it. I think that's a little overly done. Okay. So, I'm going to get... Um, some color onto this because this is awfully it just needs a little bit more okay I think we're good for that right now now we need something on here um, that looks a little too big I know I have littler ones or would we like, no, no red. That would look weird. Black. Yeah, that'll work. We'll pull out. So this is one of the flowers that I sewed. Um, they're very versatile. And I'll be doing um, quite a bit more projects with them. I've had some requests for that, which I will gladly do. Um, so this I'm I want to add on to this one um this is basically just the the strings that you get when you are pulling your fabric so see we're gonna set that right there spread it out some and I really want to put like flower of some sort because I have some pretty flowers on here in here so why not use them like that and then let's add there we go I like that that is more simpler <laughs> not really big on over the top stuff <laughs> so I am just kind of going to put this this is why I don't like this glue I really am not fond of this glue okay so I'm just going to put a little bit on here where we're going to stick that um, it'll hold and we're going to use if I can get it to come down.
All right. So. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So now to make this a double. Um, actually, I'm going to get this a little bit and take it a little bit more. It's a little white for me. Okay. So to make this a double pocket, what I a double belly band, what I do, very simple. Cut that off. Um, I glue this right here, just like what you would with a regular belly band. You know, to glue it on the to the paper. And right there. There we go. So there's your double belly band. Because then you're going to, what you'll do is, ooh, so I got my pages finally sewn in. <laughs> so what you'll wind up doing is, this is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So you put a little bit of glue down here, a little bit of glue up there, put these on, and then you will have pocket here and a pocket there so you can have two cards um, which is so fun <laughs> so here are the two that we decorated and the four that we made i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did give it a thumbs up um, please think about subscribing and I will see you guys on the next crafting adventure. Bye.